Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on further integration. And this lesson you are going to talk about integration by using sine and cosine substitution. So this method is used to integrate integrals in the form 1 over square root of a squared minus b squared x squared with respect to x. So a and b are constants and this x is a variable. I think I'll see dx. So whenever the denominator has a square root of a constant minus a variable x, then it's better we use sine or, or cosine substitution. And this is done by facilitating the whole of this the variable with, the co with this coefficient being equal to this constant multiplied by sine squared u. So the whole of this is equal to a squared, which is here, sine squared u. Always remember that. Then after that, we remember that sine squared u plus cos squared u is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 minus sine squared u will be equal to square root of cos squared which is equal to cos u. We shall use the knowledge to go through the solution for this problem. So they want us to find the integral of 1 over 9 minus 4x squared with respect to x and hence evaluate 3 over f integral from 0 to 3 over f to 3 pi over 4 of 1 over 9 minus 4x squared, everything under root, with respect to x. So we shall start by letting, remember we said, the whole of the, this variable with its coefficient is equal to this constant multiplied by sine squared u. So after that we shall put the square root to come up with x equal to 3 over 2 sine u. And when I make you the subject, I'll come up with u being equal to arc sine 2x over 3. So when I differentiate this x with respect to u, I'll come up with dx du equal to 3 over 2 cos u. And when I make dx the subject, I'll come up with dx being equal to 3 cos u du over 2. Now that I've got dx, I'll come and substitute for dx here. I think I realized that this now x squared has been, 4x squared has been replaced by 9 sine squared u, which is this. 4x is equal to 9 sine squared u. And this dx has been replaced by this, which is 3 cos u du over 2. I think I'll see it here. So the next thing will be to simplify. So when I simplify, this 9 minus, uh, for this case, 9 is common in both terms, so it, it can come out to become 9 in brackets 1 minus sine squared u. Then this 2 and this 3 will come out, to, because they are constants, to become 3 over 2. So this cos will now come here, and this du will be outside to mean that we are now integrating with respect to u. Next is to remember that 1 minus sine squared u is equal to cos squared u and when I put it under root, I'll come up with cos u. So 9 under root will give me 3. That's where the 3 cos u is coming from. Now from here, you realize that there's cos u here and cos u here. What does it mean? If they, both of them will cancel, so that I remain with only 3, to remain with 1 over 3. Similarly, there is 3 outside here, so this 3 and this 3 will cancel and you remain with 1 over 2 du. So now I'll have integral of 1 over 2 du. Remember this in a half is a constant, so when I integrate I'll get a half u plus c. But remember we are the ones who introduced this u, so we have to again eliminate it. And remember we say that u is equal to arc sine 2x over 3. So I'll come and substitute for you to get a half arc sine 2x over 3 plus c. 
Now this will be the value of the given integral. For the hence part, they told us to integrate from 0 to 3 pi over 4 of this very integral. So we already know that this integral is equal to 1 over 2 arc sine 2x over 3. So next is to substitute the limits. When I substitute 3 pi over 4, where, where there is x, first of all this I half will go out and in brackets I remain with only arc sine. So 3 over 3 pi over 4 times 2 over 3, the 3 will cancel and this 2 will reduce this one by 2. So I remain with pi over 2 which is here. Minus, when I substitute the lower limit here, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So I'll get, end up with arc sine 0. Then from there I have to remember that arc sine pi over 2 is equal to 1. Remember, now in this case your calculators must be in radians. So arc sine pi over 2 will give me 1. Arc sine 0 will give me 0. So when I simplify further, I'll come up with my answer as 1 over 2. Then problem 2, they want us to get the integral of 1 over square root of 9 minus 3 in brackets x plus 1 squared x plus 1 squared with respect to x. So in this case, I'll have to let the whole of this 3x squared, 3x plus 1 squared to be equal to this constant of 9 times sine squared u. I think you remember that in the introduction. We get this constant then multiplied by sine squared u. Next we shall get the square root on put square root on both sides to come up with root 3. Square root of 3 is root 3. Square root of this is x plus 1. And square root of the whole of this is 3 sine u. When I make x plus 1 the subject I'll come up with. When I bring this one this side. It will and I rationalize I'll come up with root 3. So 3 over root 3 is equal to root 3. Next is make u the subject. When I make u the subject, I'll come up with arc sine x plus 1 over root 3. We make u the subject because at the end we have to eliminate u. Now I have to also differentiate. When I differentiate x with respect to u, I'll come up with dx du being equal to root 3 cos u. And when I make dx the subject, I'll come up with root 3 cos u du. So I've got dx and I've also got the value expression for u. So next is to substitute dx where there is dx. I'll put there the expression which is root 3 cos u du. And where there is the whole of this 3x plus 1 squared, the whole of this was equal to 9 sine squared u. So I'll substitute for that. And after that I realized that this 9 is common. So I'll pull it out and remain with 1 minus sine squared u. Then for this side, this three root 3 cos u will come here to become the numerator. After that I remember that 1 minus sine squared u is equal to cos squared u. Now the square root of 9 cos squared u will be equal to 3 cos u. That's why there is 3 cos u here. This one I've just carried what was here to bring it here. Now I think you realize that cos u and cos u can cancel and this one can reduce to become 1 over root 3. So I'll have to integrate 1 over root 3. Remember this is a constant so when I integrate I'll come up with 1 over root 3 u plus c. And But remember u we are the ones who introduced it so we have to eliminate it at the end. And we got u equal to arc sine x plus 1 over root 3. So I'll come and substitute. Therefore the given the required integral will be 1 over root 3 arc sine of x plus 1 over root 3. But don't forget the constant of integration. Then problem 3, they want you to get the integral of square root of x in brackets x minus 4 
with respect to x. So in this case we shall say let x be equal to 4 sine squared u. Remember we said whatever is here is equal to this constant multiplied by sine squared u. So in this case this side we only have x so we shall put x here and but this this constant is 4 so we shall put 4 here then multiply by sine squared u. I think that remember that from the introduction. Then from there when I make u the subject I'll come up with u being equal to arc sine of root where this square root coming from first i have to get the square root to get when i put the square root on both sides i'll get root x being equal to 2 sine u so when i make u the subject i'll get arc sine in brackets square root of x over 2 and next i have to differentiate so dx du will be equal to 4 i think i can realize that this is a power uh, what do I, how do I integrate? I bring down the power to become 4 times 2 which gives me 8 then reduce the power by 1 to give me sine u to power 1 then after that I differentiate this inner bracket the inner bracket is sine u so when I differentiate it I'll come up with cos u so this is where this derivative is coming from but I remember from double angle that 2 sin u cos u is equal to sin to u. So in this case, for this 8, I remain with 4 because the 2 has been has gone inside the 2 sin u cos u. Now from there, I have to make dx the subject and dx will be equal to 4 sin to u du. And after that, I have to substitute now. The given integral is this. Now wherever there is x, I'll put there. 4 sine squared u. So I'll come and put 4 sine squared u here for this x. Then in brackets 4 minus x which is b which will be 4 minus sine squared u. Then this dx, the dx is equal to 4 sine 2 u du. So I'll come and substitute 4 sine 2 u du for dx. Next is to, is to simplify. I think we realize that this 4 sine 2 u will come here then in this square root this 4 and 4 is common so it can come out and multiply with this 4 to get 16 now this sine squared u have brought it down here now that means that when 4 is out inside the bracket I remain with 1 minus sine squared u and we all know that 1 minus sine squared u is equal to cos u so that's where this cos u is coming from so now the square root of 16 sine squared u cos u squared u will be 4 sine u cos u so this is where this expression is coming from and from there this 4 is the same as 2 times 2 so 1 2 will multiply by this 4 to give you 8 Another 2 will remain in the bracket to bring in the identity of double angles. I think remember that 2 sin u cos u is equal to sin to u. So this is where that sin to u is coming from. Now sin to u times sin to u is equal to sin squared to u. And because this is an even power, we use the identity of double angles therefore sine squared u is equal to a half in brackets 1 minus cos for u now this 8 over 2 will give me 4 and when i integrate 1 i'll come up with u and when i integrate cos for u it's negative cos for u i'll come up with negative 1 over 4 sine for u don't forget the constant of integration. So when I open the brackets, I'll come up with 4u minus sine 4u plus c. But remember, u has to be eliminated because it was just introduced during the working. So I remember that my u is equal to sine arc sine root x over 2. So I'll say now. 4 is here, then the u is now arc sine root x over 2 minus sine for u, so it will become sine of arc sine sine of 4 arc sine 
square root of x over 2 plus c. So this will be the value of the required integral. Problem 4, they want us to integrate square root of x over 4 minus x with respect to x. So the first thing to do is, is to let what is here is just x. So say x is equal to this other constant which is 4 multiplied by sine squared u. I think remember that from the introduction. Then when I make you the subject, I'll come up with u being equal to arc sine of root x over 2. Now when I differentiate this, I'll come up with 8 sine u cos u. And when I make dx the subject, I'll come up with 8 sine u cos u du. Now I'm going to substitute for x. Where there is x, I'll put there 4 sine squared u. So this x will be replaced by 4 sine squared u. And this x will also be replaced by 4 sine squared u. Then the dx will be replaced by 8 sine u cos u du, which is that. And I think you realize that now, one, 4 minus 4 sine squared u is equal to 4 cos squared u, which is this. And this one has come this side. Now the du has remained this side to, me in, to show that you are integrating everything with respect to u. So when I remove the square root, I'll make, so this 4 and this 4 cancels, and the square root removes these square, two squares to remain with sine u over cos u. Then this one remains the same as it is, which is here, and the dx is there. Now I think you realize that now cos u and cos u will cancel, and this sine u times sine u will give you sine squared u, and this 8 will still remain. So now we have 8 integral of sine squared u du. It's because this is an even power, we shall use the identity of double angles. So a sine squared u is equal to a half in brackets 1 minus cos to u. Things realize that this angle here is twice this angle. Now next will be to integrate. First of all, 8 over 2 will give me 4, which is that. And when I integrate 1, I'll come up with u. And when I integrate cos to u, I'll come up with a half sine to u. When I open brackets, I'll come up with 4u minus 2 sine to u. But remember, u, we are the ones who introduced it, so you have to eliminate it. So in the end, we shall come up with 4 arc sine root x over 2 minus sine of 2 arc sine root x over 2 plus c. So don't forget the constant of integration. It's now your turn to try the following problems. So try that out. Compare answer with that. Try that out, and that is the hint. Compare answer with that. So try that out. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel, Roa, a learning platform. Thank you.